Maths is not difficult. I've heard many students tell me, your trigonometry is so difficult. Linear functions is this and that. And actually, it's the attitude that you put towards maths that makes it difficult, okay? The reason why it's so difficult is because you perceived it as something that only the smart students can actually tackle. But you can actually do it with my tips and also the right attitude. You'll be able to get distinctions for that maths in this term. So I'm going to give you guys five simple tips to implement that will be very strategic in helping you so that you can get great marks this year and even for years to come and you'll actually see that maths is actually easy. Okay, so let's start off with the cliche one, okay? That's gonna be to practice, practice, practice. You've heard it many times. You've heard your teachers say it. You've heard your parents say it. You've heard everybody say that you have to practice the maths, okay? That's the only way. I mean, there are many things that I'm gonna tell you right now, but practicing maths is... It's the only way you become good at it, okay? It's like trying to uh, learn how to ride a skateboard, okay? The only way you're gonna get good at skating and doing tricks and doing ollies and doing kick flips or whatever, you're gonna have to practice. You're gonna have to go to the skate park. You're gonna have to meet up with people and learn how to practice and practice and practice and do it until you get good at it, right? So that's the same thing with math. Math is just a lot of practice until you become familiar and you become confident with it, okay? Tip number two is going to be for you to do corrections, okay? Do corrections. Do your corrections. When you get something wrong, just do it. I know it it sucks at times. It feels tedious. It feels like, ah, man, I've already done this. I got it wrong. Why do I want to go back at it? Yo, you have to do it. I remember um, my favorite maths teacher, Anami Furi, she taught me the importance of doing your corrections. You know, we'd have one-on-one -on -one lessons and she'd tutor me and she'd show me that, yes, you got a few things wrong, but what's important now is what you do after getting them wrong, okay? Are you gonna sulk about it and just leave the 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 the, the exercise and just be like, nah, I, I don't care about it, I suck at it? Or are you gonna sit down and focus and be like, okay, I have to do these four equations, I got them wrong, let me try and remember how I'm supposed to do it correctly, right? Tip number three is to use flashcards, okay? Flashcards, flashcards, guys, you've got to try and use uh, some flashcards. These ones look like trash. I didn't make any effort. <laughs> But if you use flashcards with math, it will help you. Many students are like, no, math is not a studying subject. You don't have to really memorize anything. And I'm like, what about the formulas? I mean, there are formulas in math that you need to know off by heart, okay? And sometimes they can be a lot. They can be quadratic equation formulas. They can be formulas on how to um, solve a linear equation. You know, they can be a lot and you have to remember it for the final exam, of course, right? So when you're using flashcards, at the front of the flashcard, right, what you can do is you can write the uh, the word of the formula, right? So maybe you're trying to practice the quadratic formula. So you write in front the quadratic formula. And then at the back, you write out how the formula looks. What is it? It's minus B plus minus uh, square root minus B minus 4AC divided by 2A, right? So that when you practice with your flashcards, you're gonna be able to remember it even better and you can maybe practice with a friend, you know, by giving the friend the flashcard and asking them to read out what is in front and you write out what you think is at the back, right? Number four is gonna be for you guys to do question papers from the previous years, okay? I know maybe you may have threw them away, you know, but I'm hoping that maybe you stored them in your garage or something like that, you know, or in your room at the back of the cupboards, you know, in the dusty area or something. <laughs> Take out those question papers and practice them, right? Like they are pest papers that when you look back at them, you're like, yo, I was so trash at math, hey? Yo, I got so many things wrong 
practice those things that you got wrong, right? Because it's basics. So if you're doing linear equations right now that are more advanced and that require more knowledge, do the linear equations from last year that you did in a test and practice that so that when you're doing this year's linear equations, you know that, okay, I know how to do the basic ones. So the advanced ones is just an addition, right? It's just something added on. And I'm telling you, you're going to ace it. You're going to ace those exams at the end of the year. Last and final tip for you guys is going to be to head over to Khan Academy, okay? I always talk about it on my TikToks, on my Instagram, on my YouTube. I've talked about it like go to Khan Academy because they have so many um practice examples and not just that but they have lessons on various topics okay so if you just go to www.khanacademy you'll see that in the website um they have math topics and you just pick whichever math topic that you guys are doing right now if you're doing algebraic equations you'll see that they have lessons they have a teacher that did um explain algebraic equations, you know, and sometimes you'll notice that, A, the teacher on Khan Academy does almost a better job at teaching this topic, you know. I'm not saying that your teacher is bad or something like that, but sometimes, you know, you need a different way of understanding it, you know. I, I, I can definitely testify that Anami, like, really helped me a lot, hey. I was struggling with math before her, and once I finally got to her school and she tutored me and she helped me I understand I, I understood math so much better than I did at my previous schools and that's not to say that my previous school maths teachers were bad they were horrible no they weren't it's just the way Anami explained the topics to me it just it was way better it was way easier to understand she simplified it she just you know, and the way she does her explaining, it it was just so fun. And um, that's why I even love math to this day. You know, it's because of her. So that's why I recommend that you go to Khan Academy. Go and watch the lessons, you know, go and learn maybe a different way of doing something, you know, because they will show you how to do things maybe a bit quicker, like, you know, solving for X, you know, you'll see maybe some quicker steps than you than you would have learned at school. You feel me? Just ask your teacher if she's cool with you using a different method and you show her before you use it in a test, right? So that she's not shocked and surprised and like, what is... Aiden doing like Aiden I did not teach you this method okay and now this method is making you fail it's you know like you do not want uh, to make her angry make your teacher angry of course so just be careful there all right, we've gotten to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys gained so much from those tips, okay? I'll be definitely giving more math tips because I understand that math can be difficult for most students, but with these tips, they will definitely help you, okay? But don't just listen to this video and be like, okay, yeah, sharp. No, like seriously implement the tips that I've given you, okay? I've given you the tip for you to practice, for you to use flashcards, for you to do corrections, for you to go over question papers you know so like seriously do those things and you will see improvement trust me okay i also was bad at math but because i used these tips okay that uh, my math teacher gave me I, th then I got a distinctions, bro. I got distinctions and I even got distinctions for my matric final exams, you know. So, hey, bro, like really implement these steps. Like seriously implement these things, okay? And also don't forget to give me a like, you know, and subscribe if you're new here. This is the Clapback Nation. I'm Gugwano Suluane Maota. You know, we're here to level up students and help y'all. You feel me. You feel me. <laughs> so yeah, definitely subscribe and leave a comment, you know, and let me know, you know, if these tips are actually helping you. Let me know what type of topics I should uh be helping you guys with you know maybe i'll make a video that's in depth you know with addressing one single topic in math you know like how to do linear equations better and i'll do a full video you know writing down and showing you maybe
maybe with a whiteboard or something ish now i must buy a whiteboard but you know yeah i'm committed to helping you guys especially with a subject that i really enjoy you know so definitely leave a comment down in the section and let me know like what i can help you guys with you know and yeah share this and don't forget to share this with your friends, okay? Let them know that Clapback helped me with my mats, you know, and it's actually working, you feel me? Share it onto your WhatsApp status, onto your Instagram status, you know? Let them know, spread the word, let us grow as a fam and become a student, yes sir! So I'll see you guys in the next video! Clap back, clap back, clap back, clap back! Clap back, clap back. I got time today, I'm finna clap back. Clap back, clap back.